natural but still pretty. Claire's BB Cream. Hi guys, welcome back to Wish Trend TV and this week I am back with my monthly favorites. So it's been a long time since I've seen you guys and part of the reason to that is that I'm participating in Unpretty Rap Star Season 2 or Volume 2 as they like to call it. So yeah, um, that's why I've been kind of um, MIA. But I'm back with my monthly favorites and I hope you guys enjoy this month's monthly favorites and I'm being redundant so yeah, let's begin. The first thing I see is this From Nature Aloe Moisture Cleansing Tissue. And that's exactly what it says, from nature, alloy moisting, moisting, moisture, cleansing tissue. And there's 30 in each pack. And hold on. It says, this moisture cleansing tissue gently and effectively, effectively, effectively removes makeup, leaving skin clean, soft, and supple. First of all, it's not oily. Sometimes if you get the wrong type of cleansing tissues, it leaves your skin feeling really like oily afterwards and even if you like wash your face with foam cleanser it still feels a little oily um it doesn't leave any any residue like that and another reason why i like it is the scent it's really refreshing and it's really cool so the aloe in it kind of gives my skin like a you know like a refreshing feeling after a hot day and since the weather's really warm these days that's really good too um so yeah, this is the first product. Next product is the Claire's Creamy and Natural Fit Concealer. Now, as you guys know, a lot of us on Wish Trend, we like the Claire's con Concealer BB Cream because it's one of our holy grail BB creams. But I never tried out their concealer because huh, they never had a concealer before it's a new product. But I picked it up um, and it says natural shade. It has six milliliters, which is like 0.2 fluid ounces. But anyways, um, it says covers spots and pores. First of all, I really like the container it's in. Um, the reason why I like the Claire's BB Cream is because of the container. I mean, I think like when it comes to cosmetics, it really um, needs to take, think, take into consideration and think about what the container is gonna look like because that's how, you know, you first look at it and it gives you the first impression. Um, and another thing I really liked about the container is the doe foot applicator, um, it has a lot of concealers that are just like in a pot shape or whatever. It gets dirty after you use it. It picks up, you know, dirt and some kind of like monji, dust, dust, dust. And um, yeah, I don't know, it gets really gross after a while. Like, especially sometimes when I use like a pot concealer, the top layer actually changes color. I don't know what, why that happens. Maybe it's oxidation, but yeah. Um, so you, you don't need to worry about that with this. And another thing I really liked about the concealer is how it, it, it closes really firmly. And that's another thing. Sometimes the screw top applicators, they kind of go loose after a while, but this has a very firm closing feeling. So that's awesome. Now to the actual product. I would say if you're looking for like a full, full coverage concealer to cover, it, cover acne spots or like you know, acne scars and stuff, I wouldn't definitely recommend this like as like a 100% best product because concealers that do that tend to be dry and this is a lot less, no, this is not dry. This isn't dry. This, is, this isn't dry. Um, this is actually really moisturizing and it has this creamy texture to it. I would say this is a really good product. Um, it covers a lot of my freckles that I have on the high points of my cheeks. It does a good job in covering dark circles and it does a good job in covering um, pimples or acne scars that I have on my forehead. And I'm just gonna show you how it looks on my skin. So I'm gonna give her time to focus. See, do you see that? It goes on really smoothly. And um, it just blends in like nothing. Like it's, it, just, it just turns into skin. And it dries to a semi-matte finish. It's not like super glowy or like over, over moisturizing. So don't worry about that. And yeah, it does a good job in covering, I would say. So check this out. Next to Apu, I have the SP Ceramide Complex um, um, Moisturizing um, Essence kind of thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it like an essence, but it's kind of like an essence. And um, yeah, this is for dry skin. And basically, um, this product is something you use be before the moisturizer. So I use it before I use the Claire's moisturizer. But anyways, um, this is the this is from Van Three Six 
2.5 and it's done a good job so far. I mean, it doesn't do anything besides moisturizing my skin, but it does what it says it does. It moisturizes your skin, huh? Yeah. So yeah, and also I found that the the consistency of this essence thing is really interesting. This has like a watery texture, like I'm not gonna show you, but um, it, it looks like milk, literally. Like, can you hear it? Yeah, and yeah, so I think that's another interesting thing. Um, it just doesn't feel really like dewy or anything, but it does moisturize, so. This product was another one of my favorites. Next up, I have the infamous, no, infamous is bad. I have the famous Benetton. Now, um, I got the sample because I bought the Ben Balm, which is like their new line of lip balms, and I ended up liking their tint more than the balm, which is funny because I bought the balm and this is only the sample, but yeah, I ended up liking this more. And the thing is, um, the Benetton is really famous. So I contemplated whether or not I was gonna, you know, introduce this in my favorites video since so many people know about this already, but you know, since it's my favorites, my favorites. Um, I thought it'd be relevant. So basically it's like a rose tinted tint. And the thing I like about this is a lot of the times if you buy the wrong type of cheek or lip stains, um, what happens is it leaves like an icky kind of texture after it goes away or fades out. But this doesn't do that. And it kind of tastes good. I don't know if you're supposed to. I don't know if you're supposed to be eating this, but you know, you know sometimes when you um, apply liquidy, watery tints, it some seeps into your mouth, and if it tastes like crap, you're like, ugh. But this does. I probably made like the ugliest face in the world just right just now. Um, no, no, don't focus in on that. But anyways, um, yeah. So uh, the the full size product is a lot bigger than this, but I actually like the small one because it's really handy. And the applicator, it has a brush on the tip. So I would recommend, you know, um, not using this brush too much because, I mean, if you have lip balm on, it's like you hear it's like, ha, ah, germs, ha, ah, germs, ha, ah, ha, ah, manifest in there. No, but don't do that. Next and final product, final beauty product of the month is this kit from Skin Miso. And I really wanted to introduce this. Like, this is. This has to be the most favorites of the favorites of this month. Cause I only had a chance to use this once. I'm gonna ask like the boss to give me some more, but the one experience I had was really good. So this is a handy cleansing kit. And it says on the cover, which means no matter how lazy you are, please, you know, wash your face. And you know those days where you can't be asked to like get up and go into the bathroom and actually do like a proper cleansing routine. Um, this does this for you. And what it is, is this packet is actually divided into two. So this isn't one packet. And there, there are two cotton, cotton, it's not cotton, but like a wiping cleansing pad on the top part. And then there's re eye remover sticks here. So the first um, step is to wipe your whole face with a square pad. There's a square pad in here and you rip it open. Um, I'm just gonna do this now and show you guys. Blueberry, blackberry, Asia berry, raspberry, strawberry, cranberry, choke berry. What the heck is choke berry? Anyways, yeah, so um, that, that berry stuff um, moisturizes your skin. And then the white flower complex. So, Sunha. Yonkot, Jasmine, <laughs> Edelweiss, White Rose, Freesia, Iris, and Tech Cup. Yeah, this kind of stuff, Lily. Um, this kind of stuff releases your stress um, from your skin. So anyways, this is the square pad. And it, it's really damp. It's really dampened with this cleansing substance. It doesn't have any sense, sorry. <laughs> I'm scared. Anyways, uh -huh. So you use this to wipe your whole face. Um, I would say this is the first cleansing step. Yeah, <laughs> the bumpy texture on the cotton pad, I think it helps exfoliate some dead skills away with the makeup or the BB cream or whatever you have on your face. And so yeah, you wipe the big areas of your face. And then the, <laughs> it just, look at this, cause I just did the makeup tutorial that you're gonna see in a couple of weeks, but um, hold on. It just got rid of like residue left on my fingertips and it's it's all gross and stuff, yuck. Okay, now the second step is to remove your eye makeup. But 
Yeah, and what it has is. Now, no, why are you Okay. Um. So th they have these cute little two cotton bud things, bud bud things. And what it is is it's dry, but it has the remover inside the tip. So hold on, I had a difficult time doing this last time. So. Ha! Huh, she figured it out for me. So what you do is you pull this cap off and then the air pressure, water pressure thing starts sinking into the other side and this gets all wet and you use it to remove the eye makeup, eyeliner and eyeshadow. And what the f Yeah, so. <laughs> so you have two of these. What I recommend you do is not use one for each eye, not like that, but use one to get rid of all the eyeshadow first. So use one side to get rid of all the eyeshadow, other side to get rid of all the eyeshadow. And then use the other one, crack it, and pull off the cap and get rid of the mascara and the eyeliner. Mascara and the eyeliner. Because um, why I recommend you do that is once you start removing eyeliner and mascara, it kind of like goes all over the place and into the eyeshadow and everything. So you kind of have to do like a two-way cleansing job, which is kind of like not really efficient, I don't think. And why am I missing this? Now, after you're done removing your eye makeup, I would pull out the last cotton pad, which is the circular one, and remove, it says, remove remaining, no, cleanse any remaining residues with the circle pad. Now, this also has some of the, the bumpy texture stuff to it, but not, I would say the square one has a more of a bumpy texture. Um, and what I recommend you do with this is just gently go over your face, not like rubbing, but go over your face and get rid of any, you know, mascara, like little, like black stuff, leftovers, if you have it from removing your eye makeup, and voila, you're fresh to go to sleep. And like the cleansing tissue I mentioned in the first part, um, this cleansing wipes, these cleansing wipes, they're not oily. And that's why I feel like um, they said it's okay to just go to sleep afterwards. Huh. And, and it says, you know, they recommend using this while you're traveling, which is really, really handy because sometimes if you go traveling, you know, you don't have all the necessary like, makeup removing stuff with you. You don't want to carry like cleansing water, cleansing tissues, and cleansing removers, eye makeup removers. This has everything in it. Uh, camping. Camping, yeah, because in the woods you don't even have water. So, anyways, um, yeah, because it doesn't leave like oily texture to your skin, it's really good that you don't have to do like a second cleansing process. And I really, really like this. I really like this. I never pull one out free. I love this product like this, but this was really good. I really like this. Now, I've talked about all of my five favorite beauty products, but there's one more thing that I want to mention. Since this isn't a beauty product, technically, I, but I thought it would do well with the lifestyle criteria of our channel. So um, my one favorite non-beauty product of the month is this. Yeah, Ship Cha Cha. And oh my god, I sounded like the Undertaker. Ship Cha Cha. Ship Cha Cha. And this is what is Ship Cha Cha in English? 17 T. 17 T. And 몸이 가벼워지는 시간에 says your body's gonna get lighter. Uh, it's tea, so it has zero calories. They really emphasize this like in red, zero calories. But um, this has 17 different tea particles and tea substances in this. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna try to explain what this tea tastes like to you. <laughs> okay, so I think it has like a hint of green tea, but it has more of like a oomph than green tea. So it has more of like kosuhan lot. What is kosuhan in English only? Yeah, it kind of has like more of a nutty flavor. So it has more of like a barley taste to it. It's ricey. I don't know. But if you like, you know, green tea and red tea, red tea, hong cha, black tea, black tea and any all sorts of teas all over the place, um, then I'm sure you're going to enjoy this. If you come to Korea and you walk into like a convenience store, they have it in all places. So make sure you pick it up and try it. Um, and it really helps with, I think, kind of giving me like a 
revitalizing feeling throughout the day if I feel dehydrated because sometimes you know water although water is the best thing to drink when you're dehydrated but sometimes you know you don't feel like drinking water and this gets me to drink water and yeah and this is the origin flavor and there are other flavors but they taste like crap Thank you guys for watching this month's monthly favorites. And I decided to limit myself to five beauty products so that I can focus on it a little more and talk to you guys about it in depth rather than just skimming through products really quickly. So I'll come with five products and one non-beauty product every month. And I'll see you guys next month. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Click like, subscribe. Yeah, IG, 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 subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe Wish Trend TV or be square. Subscribe Wish Trend TV or be square. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Please. I'm doing this. Please subscribe. <laughs>